We have a built-in AI agent right into the app telling us what the problem is and how to fix it. We have the coolest take on dashboards and custom dashboards, and we also have live time data streaming. Being at $79.99, you can get an additional 10% off if you use my coupon code Bronco Outdoors. Hey, how's it going YouTube? Bronco Outdoors here with another car gadget review video. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the MuCar BT200 Max OBD2 scanner. For those of you who don't know, MuCar is a brand from ThinkCar. So I'm really excited to review this scanner specifically because ThinkCar is a very well-respected brand in the automotive community. Uh, it's going for $79 right now on sale. It just dropped, so it's the latest and greatest available. And you can get an additional 10% off if you use my coupon code Bronco Outdoors at checkout. This scanner is boasting 15 available resets along with smart AI detection features. We're gonna test that along with three lifetime updates. Um, if that's not enough to hook you on this one, we're gonna find out by the end of the video if this should be the next tool in your automotive diagnostics toolbox. Let's get started. Kicking it off with the unboxing, we'll go ahead and take a look at what comes in the box. You can see that the scanner comes in a nice convenient carrying case and some instruction documentation. I'm going over some quick specs, again, it comes with AI intelligent diagnostics, free lifetime updates, bi-directional control, 15 essential resets, and ELM327 protocol communication. So you can use this scanner with any application that supports that. Moving on to the setup, you'll want to locate your OBD2 port, which is typically the bottom left footwell in your car. You don't have to worry about leaving this device plugged in because it does come with intelligent sleep mode, so it should not be draining your battery. Moving on with the setup, you'll want to take out your instructional documentation so we can get access to the QR codes, and you'll scan those with your mobile device. That'll direct you to your app store. This does work on Android and iOS, so you'll install the DollarFix app. And here we have our first look at the DollarFix app, pretty interesting UI. We'll go ahead and create an account, enter our email address, and we're in. Now we can tap on My Device and Activate Device. This is where we'll want to scan the QR code on the first page. And once that is complete, we have successfully activated our scanner. Now we'll go ahead and actually connect to the scanner. So it's already plugged in. You'll see it populate in your list there. You can click connect. And sure enough, we hear the beeps. We know we are connected. So now we'll go ahead and turn on our vehicle and we'll go ahead and try the OBD2 functions. It'll download some packages here and instantly give us some scan results. We can go ahead and tap enter, which will give us some more information and functions like the inspection and maintenance readiness. This will basically tell us if we're ready to go past vehicle inspection. Moving on, we'll go ahead and read the fault codes on the ECU. We can see that on my vehicle there is none, but you can just as easily clear them right here, just like that, nice and simple. And now we'll go ahead and take a look at the live data capturing. So we have a lot of data streams that we can capture here. We're going to go ahead and select the ones we're looking for, which is relative throttle position and engine RPM. You can see as I rev the engine, sure enough, the numbers reflect. And if we tap on that metric one step further, we can get a graph over time that shows just how quickly this scanner is communicating to our mobile device. Now we'll go ahead and look at these special functions. So these are our 15 available resets. And if we wanted to use any of these, all we would have to do is tap on download. And we'll come back to that once that is done. Now let's take a look at the dashboards, which is my favorite feature of this scanner. For obvious reasons, you can see we get an absolutely awesome looking UI with an instrument cluster. We're able to actually customize this dashboard and add pretty much anything we want, completely customizing our view. So I'm going to add the relative throttle position. You can add a bunch more as well in the instrument cluster style, or in this case, I'm adding the number style. And you can even add an additional page to the entire dashboard so you can track even more. Really awesome features.
Up next, we're gonna test out the AI diagnostics. So this is the part we've all been waiting for. So I'm gonna write to this AI agent, do I have any fault codes to where its response is going to be something along the lines of, you can use this scanner that you're actually connected to right now to get your fault codes. And if we use that handy fault code retrieval button at the bottom left, we can input the make of our vehicle and the error code that we are getting. And when we submit, we'll get a guide on pretty much everything about that error code and other cases people have seen. Pretty convenient. Here I am typing an error code right into the chat itself, and the AI agent's going to respond with the fault code definition, along with the symptoms that you may be seeing, detection signs, and as well as how to repair it. I like that. Now we'll go ahead and test out some other miscellaneous functions like performance testing. This will record some speed as you're driving to see how your car is performing. We'll go ahead and look at the alarm management so we can make some custom alarms here of when our coolant temperature rises above a certain level, it'll actually send a notification to our phone so we can be made aware. I think it's pretty convenient. Now we'll jump back into those maintenance functions. Our oil maintenance reset is complete. So we can see we do have a bunch of makes and models available, over 200,000 compatible with this device. So it's gonna be able to take care of your car. Uh, we'll take a look at the enhanced diagnostic section, which is going to give us the ability to do some more drill down type scans and searches for any of the components and modules that our vehicle has on board. and our scan is done. So this is going to be where we're going to have options to do some bi-directional controls. Uh, if we tap on one of these, we can actually see the module information. We can read any fault codes and perform a self-test. If we look at the system scan here, once it's done in just a moment, we can also see that we can read data captures off of a specific module itself. So in this case, I am going to pick gear commanded and the gear shift module input. So we can actually observe when the car is shifting gears here, park, reverse, neutral, and drive. Now we'll just take a look at some general app features. This is kind of like a automotive social media. I think it's pretty neat. This is an article or post on how to replace spark plugs. It may be useful to you, but I think overall they're trying to create a community of automotive folks. Uh, here they have a built-in recall record function, which I think is actually really handy. So you can put in your make and model and view if you have any open recalls. Next, we'll take a look at the vehicle safety ratings, which I'm inputting my 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. We can pull up the IIHS crash scores and see exactly how safe our vehicle is. Next, we have the fault code library function, which is just a simple offhand way to kind of put in a code and your make and model and see really what it means. Again, using that AI analysis. On top of that, you can tap the top right Google search, which will take you straight over to Google so you can see what Google has to say about it, any YouTube videos to help you fix your vehicle. Nice. At last, we have a fault light description. So if you don't know what that lousy light on your dash means, it's not going away, well, have no fear because you can come right here, tap on the exact light that you see, and it'll give you all the information about that light and how to fix it. That's all for now. Let's go ahead and close out this video. All right, so there we have it. That is the full review of the MuCar BT200 Max. Honestly, really impressed with this device. I think for the price, it's really user intuitive. That's gonna be the note that sings the loudest on this device. Uh, I like the integration with the Dollar Fix app. I think it's really smart, simple to use, all in one package. It kind of gets the job done. You don't really have to know much about cars if you're new 
to the diagnostics game. It's able to do most of your major resets and diagnostic functions along with live data capturing, which I'm gonna pause there on that note because this device along with the DollarFix app has my absolutely favorite execution of live data capturing and dashboard creation. Out of all the scanners that I've reviewed on this channel, which by the way is a lot, so be sure to check out those videos too. But the execution that this one did is my favorite. I think it's super intuitive to pull in the different features that you need, build pages of the exact things you wanna look at and that can help you with your troubleshooting on your, on your car. I think this device will be perfect for someone starting out in the game of auto diagnostics as long with somebody who is fully experienced uh, in the mechanic game. Uh, but appreciates a good user interface. So that being said, being at $79.99, you can get an additional 10% off if you use my coupon code Bronco Outdoors at checkout. There'll be a link in the video description down below. If you're interested, you wanna pick one up for yourself, go ahead and check that out along if you wanna look at other features. Um, but I do wanna say before I let you go, uh, Feel free to leave a comment down below if you're interested or if you have a question before you purchase or even after you purchase. Um, I have good relationships with these brands and I can pass off questions to them. You can see in my other videos, there's a lot of comments about questions of the scanner itself. So feel free to use that area to find out what you need and grow this community because I think these devices are absolutely incredible and everybody should have one. Uh, specifically, this one I think is really catering to that beginner intermediate level mechanic because it has an AI built right into the app. You can ask it questions if you don't know what specifically this means, this, this DTC code, this light on my dashboard. You can look up what those mean right in the app. So it really leaves a lot of the guesswork out of the equation. It's all there for you, all within the app. So that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.